Here's a manometer problem tutorial. Um, there are two types of manometers. I always like to draw pictures so I can get a good visual. Um, I'm a very visual learner. Um, so I always have my, my original U-shaped tube. Um, this would be an example of a closed manometer, which this end is closed off to any uh, air, any atmospheric pressure, anything. Um, you have your mercury in your U-tube. Um, on a closed manometer, the mercury level is always higher than the uh, gas side, so this would be full of liquid mercury. This would be down, this would be up. Um, you can have this connected to a either um, gas chamber or you can have it open to the atmosphere. If it's open to the atmosphere, this would be an example of a barometer. We just have atmospheric pressure here that is pushing, at putting that force onto the area of the mercury, the liquid mercury. Um, barometer. Um, in he this space here, this is nothing. This is the absence of any air, any gas, um, also known as a vacuum. Um, so there's no, no force pushing here. So this would be a good way to measure the atmospheric pressure. As always, measuring this height difference in um, between the two levels of mercury in the U-tube. Usually in millimeters, you can do it in any, but this would be called the mil millimeters of mercury. If this was, uh, the difference was 750 millimeters, that would be the atmospheric pressure at that time. Um, you can also have this attached instead to the atmosphere to a bulb, gas chamber, whatever, this would be some kind of gas in here which would be work the same way, measuring that distance, giving you the pressure of the gas.